Hi guys, this is how my Russian 10 wheel drive 3D printed SIL 137 truck looked like before. First I decided to merge two JJ RCQ60 beds together. Finding the ideal merging point was a little bit tricky. The two pieces were glued and screwed together. For the upper seam I used UV active glue. Modifying the front wall was not easy as well. I also installed metal gears and drive shafts. Then I drilled new holes for the rear bumper. And this is the result. Motor and gearbox are installed in the same place as the hydrostatic drive unit in the original trailer. The motor wires are routed exactly the same way as the hydraulic tubes in the original trailer. Unfortunately, I messed up the existing rear section during the installation of the tail lights. So I had to 3D print new fenders and other parts for the rear section. These are the new fenders, 3D printed in PLA. And this was the result after some paint. This was the second attempt to install LEDs. The wiring was secured with super glue. Finally, the wiring was painted. Then I modified my taillight and brake light driver. I added a second connector and an internal output resistor. More details about this driver can be found in the video above. This is the installed driver with the two outputs to the taillights. The wires are routed below the fenders. This is the JST connector for the trailer drive. It is connected to the ESC output in parallel with the tractor motor. I almost forgot to mention the engine sound speaker and its driver. And of course my DIY Arduino receiver. And yes, this time I was lucky. The taillight LEDs even worked after the installation. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss upcoming episodes. Bye!